Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, you are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. Okay, look. They threw dirt on your name and flowers blossomed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they didn't know that when they tried to bury you, when they tried to hide you, when they tried to throw you under the bus, they tried to th throw dirt on your name. They didn't know that you were a seed. They didn't know that you would blossom like that. They didn't know that that was only like, that was just a short phase of darkness for you to blossom, like for you to show up and show out, like for you to come bigger and even better for you, for you to come even harder. They didn't know that. They didn't know that. They didn't know that like, this is why sometimes you just got to thank your haters. They didn't know that things would do like a complete U-turn, that things would actually go in your favor as the outcome of their shadiness. They didn't see that coming. They didn't see that coming. They didn't know who you were. They still don't know who you are. They're still trying to figure out who you are because every time they try to pull you down in a mess, every time they try to throw dirt on your name, every time they, every time they try to th uh, push others against you, it just don't work like that. It don't work. They may have it for a little bit, but then when reality kicks in, people start to see them for who they are. People start to see you for who you truly are. It's like, okay, well, the math isn't mathing. The things that they're saying, the math isn't mathing. Well, if this is true, then why is this happening? If they did this, why are they doing this? It really isn't adding up with what they're saying about you. It really isn't adding up. All of the dirt that they threw on your name. And people are starting to see the ones who got some type of consciousness, okay? <laughs> the ones who got some type of sense. They're starting to see them for who they are. Now, are they going to stop being cool with them? Stop messing with them? Nah. A lot of times they love these people. Like, these are people closest to you sometimes who's tried to throw dirt on your name. Like, these are people who you trusted. These are people who you actually care for. But they tried to throw dirt on your name and they did not know that you was a whole seed out here. They did not know that you were being watered the whole time. You were being nurtured the whole time. Like they threw that dirt on your name and they left you for dead. They, and they thought that they had you good. They just knew that that would actually, absolutely smuggle you. That would absolutely take you out the game. Like that you would give up for once and for all and conform to them. And be their little puppy. This is what it's all about a lot of times. Like, people want you to be who they want you to be. And when you're not that, in the moment you're not that, the moment that you tell them no, the moment that you um, be real with them and honest with them, they don't like that. Somebody threw dirt on your name. Okay? They threw dirt on your name. They made you out to be this wicked person. They made you out to be this crazy person. They had everyone wrapped up in a warp. <laughs> they had everyone wrapped up in a warp. Believing the lies that they told on you. Believing the things that they were saying about you. They had people like um, manipulated very well. This person is very good at manipulation. They threw dirt on your name. But in the end, you win. In the end, you learn so many lessons. In the end, you learn who not to trust. You learn exactly who they were. That's when their mask accidentally fell off. They threw dirt on your name. They started to show their ass. They started to show exactly who they were and exactly how they feel about you. How they've been feeling about you the whole time. They threw dirt on your name. You didn't even know that they was feeling this way about you. <laughs> you didn't even know. Their mask accidentally fell off and their true colors were revealed when they threw dirt on your name. It's like, wow, you didn't know that they had it in them, but you should have. But they had you good just like they had everybody else. They're very good at what they do. They're very good at what they do. They had you just like they had everybody else. But you should have seen it coming in the ways in which they were throwing dirt on everyone else's name. They were they were talking about others. Really think about it. They were talking about others to you as well. So would you think that they weren't talking about you too? But they had, like the mask that they had on, it was very believable. 
It was very believable. Totally different person. Very believable. So you can see how they kind of got others involved and like other people was listening to them and believing them. You can see how that happened because they're very good. They're very good at what they do. They do dirt on your name. But you got a field of flowers that came from that. You got a field of flowers that come from that. And you don't regret that experience at all. At all. Because now you know how to deal with them. You deal with them accordingly. If at all. If at all. Because the shade was really shady. The mess was really messy. They left a whole mess. They opened up a can of something that they don't even like, that you don't even want nothing to do with. They opened up a can of, um, like, you took it too far. <laughs> they threw dirt on your name, but flowers blossomed. They didn't know that you were a seed. They didn't know that you were being watered. They didn't know that this is what you need to nurture, nurture yourself. Like, they didn't know that this was helping with your healing process. This, this was showing you things that you didn't know about yourself. That this showed you your insecurities. That this showed you ways in which you allowed people to treat you. They didn't know that this would help you out. They thought that this would make you a more weaker person. But actually, you end up growing. You actually end up growing and blossoming. Like, they didn't, they didn't see that coming. They thought that this would absolutely tear you down. They wanted to see you fall to your knees. They want you to conform to them. They want you to come running back to them. They really want you to need them. And as a result of it, you don't need them. As a result, you are stronger. As a result, like, you kept it pushing. As a result, you forgave them. As a result, like, you are becoming a better person. Like, your morals or your standards and your values are much higher. As a result, now you, like, you got more stuff. Like, now you just realize, like, who the heck you are. As a result... They didn't see that coming. They thought that they would tear you down. They thought that it would um, absolutely destroy you. They thought that you would come running back to them, begging and pleading for their help, for their mercy. But it went totally opposite. It actually really backfired on them. It backfired on them. It backfired on them. And now their true colors are revealed and... That's a beautiful blessing in itself. So for that reason in itself, like, it's all cool. It's all cool that it happened that way. They took it a little bit too far. They threw dirt on your name. They didn't know who you were. They don't know who you are. They didn't know that you were a chosen one. And that that dirt was only going to, like, come on, everything that comes your way gets sent back like a boomerang. Every weapon formed against you is destroyed. It will not prosper. Like, they didn't know that. They thought that they had you good. They thought that they had you good. The going was good for a little bit. And now they screwed up. And they're wondering why, like, you changed. Why you switched up. But they don't see, like, <laughs> they don't see how their actions led to the results how things never had to be how they are now but they tried to be a little shady they tried to like they really tried to try you they really thought that they could walk over you that's what they thought they thought that things were sweet with you they threw dirt on your name and they didn't know the, that this was going to be the um results of their actions that these was going to be the consequences they, they seen things in a totally different light. They seen things in a totally different light because they had everyone. They had everyone involved. <laughs> they had everyone. And you were the last one. But because they had everyone, it's sure that you were going to crumble when they threw dirt on your name. But yet you rose. Yet you're continuously rising. Like you're, you are continuously rising. And they don't like that. They are confused about that. How? Because they've done it to other people. And they've got what they wanted. But with you, you're not giving them what they want anymore. They threw dirt on your name because they're jealous. They threw dirt on your name because they're envious. 
they threw dirt on your name because they don't really want people to know how much they really admire you. <laughs> this is why they threw dirt on your name. Because they want to be bigger than you. They want to look bigger than you. They want to look better than you. In society's eyes, in the world's eyes, they want to be seen as more important than you. They want their opinion to outweigh yours. They want people to value them more than you. This is why they threw dirt on your name. Because they knew if they threw water, <laughs> how much you were going to blossom even quicker. So they wanted you to starve. They wanted you to get dried out. They want you to get tired out. They wanted to try to win, win a race that they were like running up against themselves. They wanted to win the race and they were competing with themselves. They threw dirt on your name and flowers blossomed. They came through and they came through quick and they didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. They didn't like the way that things were going with you. They didn't like just how things were aligning for you. They didn't like how things were good for you. So they didn't want to bring up anything negative. They want to make up anything. They want to throw dirt on your name. They want to kick you down because they seen that you was up. <laughs> they want to kick you down because they seen that you was up. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me, I do invite you to become a member on this channel because we lit over on the membership side, okay? <laughs> that is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.